So in this vlog, uh, it's going to be a little different vlog from usual. Uh, this is my fourth year on YouTube now, so I thought um, I can go out today. I had planned on going to a lo local location, but the uh, the light isn't that good today, so I'm going to hold on till uh, get some nice uh, a nice sunny day, so we can have some nice evening light. So what I thought I'd do today is probably just have a look back at the last four years on YouTube. Um, and have a look at some old clips of uh, some images I've liked over the years. So uh, grab yourself a cup of tea, a uh, glass of wine, a beer or whatever and sit back and uh, yeah we'll go back and uh, have a look at the old vlogs through the last four years. Uh, usually when we're doing rivers I usually, I usually use a filter just to make the water silky but this time I haven't bothered doing that. Uh, just so I can capture, just so I can capture, you know, the madness of the water. So what I've done with this one is bracket it with five shots to cut the energy of the uh, water in the sky behind. Some nice colour in the clouds too, so I'm trying to capture that. Um, now I've gone at ISO 200 and a 30 second exposure. Uh, just to see what we get there. There's not many clouds to streak it, so that's not good. It's just a shame we didn't have any light. Right then, um, I'm just gonna put, just gonna put a um, soft grass on that. So with this now, what I'm at. So the, with this now I'm at ISO 100, uh, 30 second exposure and a 0.9 soft grad and a 10 stop. As we speak now I can see a bit of light just clipping it. Go on. Right, what I'm going to do now, while that light is just there Oh you bastard um, I'm going to go ISO 100 I'm going to bracket it, because I've got a bit of light on it the tree actually wouldn't it be a good shot if I can get that bench in the water's right over it and the long exposure on this one I'll try and set up a composition for this one by the looks of this it's the photo of the day I think One thing I've got to say we can, I wish they'd sort something out with the eyepiece to cover it. Because that thing on the strap is just a flimsy little piece of shit. Alright, I think from here, uh, we've got to get a shot. I'm not going to go low, just so I can catch the, uh, all the water there falling down. And what I want to do is catch the swirling on the bottom, swirling along the exposure. So I'll set up here. And see, uh, see what we get out of this one.
uh, with this one, I've uh, I've got to do it portrait. Um, it just seems to work better. So I'm going to put a 10 stop filter on this and then uh, 0.9 soft grad to really darken the sky. And I think this would make a nice image. Closer up here, and this is a much better shot. So, what I'm going to do here, put the uh, tripod low here so I get the tree in, uh, six stop filter so we can get that all milky. So, I'll set up and get a good shot of this and try and wait for a bit of light to hit over there. Uh, with this, I'm at F11 ISO 100, uh, 25 second exposure. Um, if that cloud suddenly comes from behind the cloud and put a bit more light, it'd be better. So I'm just going to wait and see if that sun's going to pop out at any time. forgetting to put the eyepiece on. Uh, something I always do. Easy mistake. Um, right, I think I'm going to bring it down to F9, I think. ISO 200. Uh, 30 seconds on that. like a nice shot. The uh, histogram's fine with that one. Um, I'll just take another one. What I've done here with the final shot is uh, I've used the rocks here with all the seaweed on it and that sort of is a leading line to the church. Uh, I've got some brilliant light coming down on it now uh, and that looks good. I've done a long exposure on this. Uh, I used a point nine soft red in the sky and a 10 stop um, at F9 ISO 200 uh, 30 second exposure. Uh, just before that um, there were people in the way uh, here. Uh, there's a sort of water here on the floor here, which uh, I went low with the tripod. Uh, and hopefully, that's made a good shot.
So, this is the secret lake. Looks pretty amazing. Um, what I've decided here is to go with a panoramic shot first. Uh, one, two, three, four of about 12 images. So my first shot is gonna be a panoramic of this. Right, with this shot, um, I'm at 1 30th of a second. I'm at F11, ISO 100. Uh, so I'm gonna take a shot, one, two, three, four, and each, and there'll be three shots to each stitch sort of thing. So yeah, we'll go with a the panoramic here. Then we'll head up on the rocks and uh, see if we can find anything over there. Right, what I like about this shot, uh, which I've seen just behind this hut, I like this tree just sticking out of the edge of the uh, mountain here and the rocks over here. Um, so I've done already done a panel, I'm not sure if it's gonna work from over there this way, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, uh, but this has one shot, uh, I think will look nice. Well, it seems quite a long time ago when you look back on them old videos. Um, just makes you want to get out, doesn't it? Um, sickening. But never mind, I'm sure we'll all be out again soon. Um, looking back at them, it does sort of make me think I'm lucky in a way that I've got so many locations locally um, around me, really, uh, within a 30 minute radius traveling. Uh, there is so much. So yeah, um, now one of my uh, favourite playgrounds photography is of course the Dinawi Quarry. Um, done many vlogs there over the years. So yeah, so now we're going to head and look back at the vlogs from the Dinawi Quarry. So I'll probably get a composition um, using all these wheels on these cutting machines and these sort of, you know, all the lines on the roofing and all that might make an interesting shot. I also am going to fly the drone over this in a minute and see if I can get a shot looking down from the drone. I think that would be quite interesting too. So with this I've done a bracket of um, 
three, about three under exposed, just so I can see the light. Because on the side, see, you've got the light coming through, and it'd be nice to pick up the bits of pockets of light that are everywhere on this shot, and to try and darken that blue sky because there's nothing in it. Uh, so yeah, uh, what I want to try and do now is fly the drone above this and get a shot looking down, which I think will be quite interesting. So that's the next shot. So the uh, shot with the drone that I wanted didn't really quite work. Um, I think it's because of the light really it wasn't quite right. So so anyway, uh, that's it for now because the midges are out in full force. Um, I have put spray on. When you tend to stand in one area, it just don't work. So. I think I got some good shots, I hope. Yep, um, <clears throat> I'm going to take this shot from here, I think. I think that'll work. Okay, so I bracketed this shot. Um, not sure how it's going to work. Uh, it's very dark here. Um, so this probably weird pulley thing here will probably be in silhouette. So. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. So until next time, bye. Right, with this one, um, I've got the side of the uh, drum house here and I've got the mountain range there with all the nice light uh, coming down on it. Um, what I'm gonna do with this is bracket it because there's so many dark patches on the mountain. Um, I don't want it to be too bad, so I'm at um, FO, FO, ISO 100, F9, 1, 3 20th of a second, uh, and it bracketing it, uh, normal exposure on one each side. Yep. I'll just check that, see if that'll look a bit dark. I'm going to do it again. Set that. Ooh, that's better. Uh, I did it this time. I did it to each to each side. That seemed better. You're probably thinking, God, he loves shooting in that quarry. I do. Uh, I think every photographer has his go-to place where he loves going and I love coming here because there's so much stuff to see here and it's on my doorstep. Um, I got interested in this quarry when I was making a film uh, back in 2003 I think I was doing a film on the power station and in that film I mentioned you know the quarry above the power station how it was and I thought then I'd love to make a documentary on this place it's really fascinating. So I did, uh, a few years later, and when he was doing all the research of the quarry, I just became fascinated with the place. It is truly amazing. Um, and if you look back at the old pictures and all that, it's sort of like the old wild, wild west, but here in Wales, strange. So yeah, I made a documentary a few years ago, uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, it won me two awards at film festivals. Uh, so if you're planning on coming here, I recommend spending a day or two and exploring the place properly. But also it'll be good if you knew something about the quarry. So if you have interest in it, I'll leave a link to the film below. So it gives you a sort of idea of what this place was like. Yeah, I mean, they were 
carving slate out of the mountain since, I don't know, 1780s. Uh, and it was a working quarry for about 200 years. And that's incredible. Um, if you look at the old sort of pictures of this place and when it was in its prime, they're really, they're amazing. And so yeah, I just, it's one of them places, I think every photographer has a place where they like to go and clear your head. And I think this is just one of them places uh, I like. There are so many places here. I mean, I've probably done most of it, but there's probably still places I haven't photographed yet. So yeah, I like coming here all seasons, uh, just taking photographs. And perhaps one day, I really would like to make a book, a photography book on this quarry of how it was. So I've come to another section now of the quarry. Uh, I've never actually been here. Uh, God, you could spend days in this quarry. I mean, there's just pockets of little places everywhere. Uh, endless compositions. I've come across this now. Uh, and I was thinking of this like a portrait. Uh, right at the bottom, I've got this lone tree sticking out the rocky slate hill here. You've got a tiny bit of woodland just there in the foreground. And then you've got this path that leads your eye right into the mountains with a little hut over there and Creep Gorch in the background and some nice moody clouds uh, in the background. So with this shot, uh... right, so with this, I've gone at F11, ISO 100, I'm at 120th of a second. Okay, I got a nice spot down here, uh, looking onto the galleries uh, down here. I think it's going to make a nice wide shot. Uh, what I'm waiting for, for sun rays to start hitting here. Uh, might not, but I'm going to wait and try and get the best light I can. Uh, so what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just sort of bracketing. Uh, what I've got in this uh, composition, I've got a nice piece of slate sticking out here just on the edge here with a bit of greeny stuff on it that'll just catch your eye here right here I've got an incline going down and that leads you right to all this quarry uh, and it just looks amazing uh, I'm getting bits of light now pockets of light hitting there now so I'm just going to keep shooting until I get that nice image my settings here um, I'm at f11 uh, ISO 100 and 120 my settings here, I'm at F11, ISO 100, and a 25th of a second, uh, bracketing to each end on this one as well. 
yeah, it's been interesting coming out today to somewhere new. I haven't been today. Uh, just a new composition. Uh, I like this one. I really do. Uh, it really gives you a good view of the galleries here. The galleries are the sort of levels uh, where the men used to work on, which had the trains on them, little trains. They're known as gal galleries, uh, where they used to blast the rock. So I hope you enjoyed this looking back at the uh, vlogs. This was part one of course, there's so many, so I'll probably make a part two. Um, so yeah, so if you enjoyed all this and uh, I want to thank all my subscribers who have been with me from the beginning or who are just coming in. Uh, there's plenty for you to look back on and if you haven't uh, already subscribed, please do hit the bell button so you're notified every time I put a video up. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can get back to some vlogging again soon. So yeah, thanks for watching and until next time, bye and please do subscribe. Cheerio.